Joe, the view from the Argentinians was that they were relatively happy that they weren't as, as disappointed as they probably probably would have expected them to. Was it a similar view from you, or are you a little disappointed with how that game finished? Uh, you're always disappointed when they scored the last two tries of the fixture. Um, I felt right at the end, uh, Bestie and Reese Ruddick did a great job of a counter ruck. There's a guy lying on the ground. He uh, grabs the ball, picks it up, runs the other direction. Uh, it caught us unawares and, and they got away. And on the back of that, we've got to be good enough to get back, get organised, defend that uh, that mall and, and try to make sure that they don't get through. Um, the two tries that they got uh, late in the game, both, both were frustrating. But uh, at the same time, I thought the way we built our way into the game was, was the reverse. It was really satisfying. Built the pressure, three points, six points, really good set play try, uh, straight out after half time to, to, to put another really good try together uh, on the basis of some real athleticism from uh, Jacob Stockdale. So, you know, there, there were certainly plenty of good elements up until that time. And then, I think we had to make 162 tackles. Uh, I think when it gets to that, it gets quite attritional, and um, it was very hard to get the ball back. There was very little contest in the ruck. Um, you know, it was very quickly called as a ruck, and, and even sometimes we felt uh, we got our hands on it as the first man in, and 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 we were called off the ball. So there were very long periods. I think. You know, in the first half, we managed to endure 18 phases of defence inside our 22, which was, uh, you know, satisfying, particularly when we turned around and put the pressure back on them and, and got some points on the back of it. So it, it's a mixed bag because uh, they generally tend to be mixed bags, but I, I never mind a mixed bag when you've got a, a nice, comfortable nine-point margin after they've just scored at the end. So... You know, especially I think they're a really good team, Argentina, um, and I do think they they will continue to get more competitive. They have uh, brought in some new young guys who I, I thought acquitted themselves really well again, the likes of Kramer, um, and uh, you know some of the young backs as well. Buffelli, uh, he missed that long range kick initially, but uh, Montoya as well on the other wing, he was searingly quick and he got away for that 60 odd metre run where Andrew Conway and Rob Carney had turns trying to get hold of him, but he, he, he's very elusive. Was it, did it surprise you how long it kind of took them to get into to get a, you know, a real strong hold in the game? Uh, I never thought they had a strong hold. You know, I, I, I think we defended them for long phases, um, and uh, the tries they got, uh, you know, we're on the back of pressure, but at the same time, um, you know, I, I think... They, they had to work really hard for them. And so, um, yeah, it, it didn't surprise me at all. Uh, they won the toss and opted to take the kickoff. So right from the very start, we knew they wanted to kick to us and trap us down there and then force, uh, force us under pressure to commit errors and, and, and play off the back of them, a little bit like they did last time we played them. Joe, is um, yeah, Jacob's got down in the position to become a proper test match since it's done? Um, look, Jacob is he's a, he's a kid who's learning fast and he's uh, and he's willing to learn. He's got some great athleticism uh, and, and very good power. He's he's a big young lad. I thought he he finished that second try really impressively because it wasn't just the line he took flat at the line uh, to break their defensive line. It was then the fact that he could arc and get around someone as good as Tukalet. Um, that, that's impressive. So there are impressive aspects. At the same time, there are a couple of times he, he was a little bit hesitant defensively and, and even um, you know, trying to win a couple of those aerial battles uh, were, were a bit of a battle for him. So he, he'll, he'll go through it and get some real confidence, I hope. And at the same time, he'll get some, some further motivation to, to try to improve aspects of, of what he delivered tonight. Yeah, I'm delighted that he's he's had the opportunity in Japan and and the way he's building, you know, because it's probably a, a position where uh, he's a natural left footer. He put in a, a great left foot at the start of the second half to or early in the second half after we scored to to uh, 
to carve off a bit of territory. And um, you know, I think there are many aspects of his game that that can help us. So yeah, it's a position that we we cast the net. I thought Darren Sweetnam did really well last week. Uh, his run down the touchline where he deflected about three tackles and stayed in field. Um, his late entry into the South African game where he managed to get to the cross kick from Joey Carberry and fought really well on the ground. That actually um, really contributed to, to Jacob Stockdale getting the try on the other side of the pitch. So that's what we want. We want people working for each other and so that other players get opportunity. Joe, is this squad in better shape than the squad you took through November? Uh, it's tough to compare. I think um, 2013, I was I was learning probably more than the players. I was trying to to kind of work out the differences uh, between Test match rugby and provincial rugby, and those very small windows you get to work with players if you're going to try to develop them. Um, and and so, you know, obviously we we lost two out of three and. 2013, but one of the most impressive 20 minutes I think I've seen from any Irish team at any stage allowed us to be 19-0 up against the All Blacks, and, and uh, one of those tries was maybe a bit fortuitous, but the other two uh, were superb, one obviously by, by Rory and, and one by Connor. So, you know, I, I, still, I, I certainly remember what happened, um, but I, uh, I also remember that I was a little bit dazed and confused. <laughs> I felt a little bit punch drunk at the end of that first three match November series. I'm not saying I feel that much different now. We've had 36 different players. The coaching staff have worked really hard to try to help players get ready. And uh, I, I've got a great group that do that. But one of the best things about this group is I, I, I feel the experienced players helping the, the younger players in. And I think Jacob Stockdale tonight had some great help from Rob Carney. I thought Rob Carney was really good. He obviously saved a, a try with that cross kick and he, he got up and took that. He, um, he, he made a couple of scything runs. Uh, he brought the ball back in the lead up to Jacob's try. And so that's what you want. You want people feeding off each other, a bit of experience and, and some, some youth and athletic talent. And you know, the more often we can put that together, the better. The, the problem is, um, I just said, See you later to the players in the in the dressing room. I'll see you in two months. Um, and while I stay in touch and, and try to track progress, um, it's not that collective progress that we like to make. The Argentinian said they were surprised. You caught them unaware of how he's played more Southern Hemisphere style and they're expecting the Irish kicking thing. Can you play a couple of different games now? Or you I, I think we've always played a couple of different games and we've played... I'm, I'm surprised that Daniel said that, um, and I think he's done a super job with with his team, but if he didn't anticipate what we did tonight, I, I'd say, you know, like South Africa, there was quite a lot of dew on the grass. It, it had been a bit drizzly. You, you probably are going to get a little bit more kicking, but we, we certainly, probably to a fault, last week threw the ball around against Fiji, and they, they hate that, of course. Um, and uh, we didn't play into their hands at all. But um, I, I think at the same time, you know, we want to mix our game up. And I think Bestie would agree that, that there's a real licence to play. If the opportunity's there, um, you know, play to the space. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't think that's too different to what, what we've been doing for some time. Rory, what's your overriding emotion at the end of this? Um, obviously, we're, we wanted to get three wins out of three. We've got that. I think probably the encouraging thing is that there's a lot of aspects of our play that we're really happy with. But even though we're three from three with a lot of a lot of players having played, beaten two of the sort of the bigger nations, and we still feel we have a lot of stuff that we can improve on. Um, so that that's encouraging. And I think Joe sort of said it. You know the the way. The young guys have come in and sort of fitted in, and the experienced boys have brought them along. But they've also bought into what we're trying to do in terms of the the attention to detail that we need. But that it's not always about the attention to detail. Sometimes you just gotta have just put your just put your body in the line for your country, and know where you're going as well.
Rory, how proud are you of uh, Jacob's performances during this series and how ready is he for a Six Nations start? Um, look, I don't know if I can add a lot more than Joe said about Jacob. Look, he's a he's a quality player, and, and probably what's impressed from last year to this year is the way he keeps improving. Um, you know, you always hear about this second season syndrome, and I think while he continues to learn and you know he stays grounded, um, there's there's a bright future for him in a a very very tough position. Um, it's probably he'll go back to Ulster now, and it'll be as tough there as well. So. Um, It'll be good for him, that competition, but look, there's, there's no doubt that he's done really, really well, but he has benefited from the players he's playing with as well. Um, like Joe mentioned Rob, but right throughout with Bundy and Robbie Henshaw in there, Bundy's inexperienced at test level, but at club level, he's played a lot of games and he's had big impacts in a lot of games, and, and you get to see that, and, and the way he's organising forwards allows us to play, allows Jacob to get a bit more room on the edges.